What's going on guys? My name is Matt Ramsey Sports Talk and today I'm bringing you the first ever Easter egg tutorial with more than one person. I know it's already been done solo. We just finished it as well. My friend Blake and I, I just went in and did it with two players. It's a little bit more difficult and you can do it with all up to four players, but you have to time things a little bit better. So if you guys enjoyed this video uh, along the way at any point and it helps you out, leave a big like in the video. That'd be really greatly appreciated. It took us a lot of time to get this done. I've been streaming for a lot, a lot, a lot and working my butt off to get it done for you guys and obviously it's been a lot of fun in the community so let's get right into it if you guys are new to my channel go ahead and click subscribe because we're going to put out a bunch more exo zombies and you guys are going to get to uh play with me in a stream open lobbies and stuff like that in the coming weeks so definitely go ahead and subscribe and like the video if you guys enjoy it if you have any questions along the way feel free to leave a comment i'm going to be reading all those comments and answering any of your questions so first things first you get the black box which you can see right behind the crashed helicopter there you're going to take that black box and bring it over here to this computerish room um this is the morgue and uh basically anyone can come over here and put it in as you can see here i'm starting out with four players and i'm going to go to two players and uh, different players along the way but the, all the steps are the same um they all work the same the same way regardless so here's what you can hear the girl say once you put the black box in the computer a security badge clearance is required to unlock encryption a minimum of four badges is required my badge is missing i looked everywhere i can think of maybe i dropped it in the incinerator room i had to check on a break-in the other night so now we come to the main part of the Easter egg. We have to gather all of the key cards for each of the four characters or each of the four characters, whether or not you have all of the characters in game. So if you're even playing solo, you still have to find all four character key cards and get their ID cards to access the next part of the Easter egg. So the first one we're going to see here is how we get Mr. Kuhn or Mr. Kun, however you want to say it. He's the CEO of uh, Atlas, this station here, and his one is going to be located right inside here. Now what you have to do for his is you have to go and get infected in the infected round. Um, and after you do that, you have uh, while you're infected, you have to go around and press all four of those buttons. As you guys saw, we just pressed each of our own buttons there. If it's a four player, if it's two player, you each do two. Um, if it's one pl for a solo player, you have to do all four by yourself, obviously. So you have to press all those buttons without disinfecting. Once you do that, this left slot over here as you just saw to my left is going to open up and you're going to see this is the guy right here Mr. Kuhn is who's going to get the card he picks up the card um, he has to pick it up if you're playing sword po four player and the card's going to be right there it's going to open up as soon as you do that step so that one's probably the hardest I would say or one of the hardest out of the four key cards although it was not the hardest to find I think overall it's probably one of the most time consuming because you do have to wait for the infected round and get infected without dying um, and you have to have all four of your players or all three of your players all three of your players whatever you want to get that so the next one is the girl Lilith hers is it's pretty simple you need to get the em1 and when someone else takes a pull from the uh 3d printer she shoots or anyone shoots the the em1 the laser gun at the 3d printer and it will turn whatever gun they pull into her into her id card her key card and then she can pull hers out and if again if you aren't that character you won't be able to pull it if you're in a game of four but if you um are just in a game sold by yourself you can pull it and that's going to be important because pe people will probably ask why can't i get this card if uh you know like i pull we did what we said and we can't pull it out you have to be the character, or if you're playing solo, you can do it, whatever. Next one is Oz. As you can see here, I'm actually Oz. He's the janitor, Bill Paxton. Next, not Bill Paxton. That's John Malkovich, excuse me. Um, so first thing you're going to do here is you're going to go over to this little lever, and you're going to have to shoot it on the bottom until it wiggles into place and you can't see it anymore like so. And once you're done doing that, you're going to be able to jump on this cell right here. Now, this is going to be the probably the most hard part if you have more than one person. If you have two people, uh, it's not too difficult. Three people is actually pretty hard. Four people is super difficult. You all have to have Exo Slam and Slam onto that cell at the exact same time, pushing up the other cell and allowing you to pull the card out of that cell that pulls up just for a second you can see right there i went and got it i am uh malkovich or oz and i'm the janitor and i would have pulled that card out as soon as we completed that step so that one's kind of hard if you have more than one person so i'd highly suggest doing as few people as you can if you want to complete that step quickly because sometimes with four people it takes a lot of time the next step is the one we got stuck on for a while and it took us a while to figure out the incinerator room pain in the butt it's simple all you got to do is go in here shoot the ground and you're going to see the card pop up just like so and i don't know if you can, you can see it there it's actually came up ready he goes over it grabs it good to go all you have to do there is shoot the ground doesn't matter what gun you have i'm pretty sure it's to be a machine gun but uh shoot the ground uh with the gun and it'll come up click x and then you're good to go and you can leave that that's how you get the security guard or decker's card and then this is the last step, or basically one of the last steps. It's very simple. Um, the next step is not even the last step, but these last few steps are super simple. Once you get the key cards, you're pretty much done the Easter egg. It's very simple from this point on. Uh, to get the rest, the remaining 50 
um, I guess, clearance levels or whatever. You basically go back over to your black box, click X, have her talk, and she's going to tell you that you need to continue to get more cl security clearance or something like that. And basically, all you have to do now is kill zombies. Each zombie or every couple zombies will drop one of the key cards. And you're going to see here from the gameplay, I'll show you guys a good amount so you guys can see how exactly it works. It's not easy to do this step only because if you're going to train the zombies like we were used to, uh, you're going to have to go back over your train quickly and pick up those key cards or they will go away. So go ahead and kill zombies. As you're going to see here, as you see here, we're killing zombies and we're going to be able to pick up their cards once they, uh, once they drop, the, drop the cards. And after we do that, we will be able to get all the way up to level 49. And on level 49, if you have two people, all your people have to get to level 49, which means you both have to collect... Um, I guess it would be you both have to collect 47 zombies. You're gonna see here I just got three and I'm punching them and I got four there five now And it's easy that I'm getting them because it's easy when we have hyper kill that they just drop right away And I can go over see it's floating right there um, You're gonna see I'll show you a bunch of gameplay just so you guys can understand what it looks like They're floating in the air You're gonna have to go over and just run over them You don't have to press X or anything just run over them and you'll pick them up And you're gonna see that your number continues to go up on your security ID card uh, So I'm at 10 here and I'm gonna go all the way up to 49 and since we have two people and This is the first time we've ever done two people. Yes, you do have to get 49 for both people it takes a couple rounds. I think it took us five or six rounds to do it, unfortunately. So you got to stay alive pretty long um, and make sure you get all those ID cards up to 49 and then you can move on to the next step. So as you can see here, we're a little bit later on. My friend actually died, unfortunately, but he's got 49 at this point and I'm just trying to get the last four. You can see here I have now number sec security clearance number 45. I guess that's what it is. That's what it should be. But it doesn't make sense that it keeps going up numbers every time you get a card from a zombie. But it is what it is. You're going to see here I pick up the last four cards and get to number 49. And no, it's not 50. No, it's not 48. It's 49 that you need to get. And all you need to get to 49, you can see here in a second, I believe I kill one of these guys. And see, he just dropped one right there. See how it's floating? And as I'm training here, I just picked up another one. But you have to run around quickly and go back and get it because they will disappear rather fast. And uh, it takes longer if you have to wait more. So... Definitely go and get those as quickly as you can. You're going to get all the way up to 49 in just a second here, and then we can move on to the next step. Gotta find some more ammo. So the next step is actually pretty simple. All you need to do is find the correlating keypad or fingerprint pad with whoever guy you have. Now you can see right here, since I'm Mr. Coon, I have to go to the security area and find the security clearance pad for me. And I'm going to show you guys here in a second where that is as long as these zombies don't kill me. Um, so he's going to have to go over and all you do is press X on it. You're going to see here there's a pad right by this door right here in the security part uh, for the... Um, for uh, uh, Decker, his is right outside the exo room, and Oz's is right outside where you have to do his part of the Easter egg. Um, so if you guys need to do more than one character or you need a different character, those are going to be where those locations are. They're all around the map. They all look the same. All you do is go up and press X, and that's the next part. After that, you need to come back to the computer place and have our lovely lady operator talk to you as so. <laughs> And for the final step that makes absolutely no sense to me, you have to go back to the exo room and press X as if you need to gain an exo suit. Although we already have the exo suits, it's going to say, as you see here, it's going to say exo suits are already online. And that's all you need to do. It's really kind of doesn't make any sense at all. But once you do that, you're going to hear the sting, uh, the sting of the bees, or sting of the Valkyries, whatever you want to call it. The same song of the music Easter egg plays, and you're going to know that you've completed the Easter egg. Now, unfortunately, here the stupid zombies blocked me from going that way, so I had to go all the way back around. 
and it took me too long and I couldn't go and see, but basically what you're going to see when you go outside, you're going to get the achievement and the uh, heli is going to come in for the rescue and it actually crashes. This leaves us with a super big question mark. Why the heck does it crash? It's supposed to be an escape. It's supposed to call us in an escape from here. And you'd think that after that's over, we would go and escape and actually move on to the next map for the next DLC. Apparently not. I'm assuming that, it's, I don't really know. This is going to play into the storyline somehow. But uh, I didn't get out there in time. You can All you're going to see is the heli goes and crashes behind where the, the Blackbird is right there. It's nothing special, honestly. It's kind of a disappointment. It's probably better that I didn't see it because it's totally disappointing. I've seen it elsewhere and it's just disappointing. So that's it, but one more thing before you leave, I don't think many other people have mentioned this yet, it will unlock a new upgrade machine down in the EXO room, you can see here, requires level 20 weapon, it is an experimental upgrade, and this is awesome, this is, this is exactly what I was hoping would happen, we'd actually get something from the easter egg, and we did, we got uh, a new upgrade device, so we can basically go down there after we get to Mark 20, which is not easy by the way, get to Mark 20, and then you can upgrade your gun to, I believe, Mark 25, and uh, we'll put a video up on that later on. I, ha I wasn't able to get to it in this game. I got up to, like, Mark 7 or 8 or 9, and then I just died. I was like, I gotta go upload this for my guys. So that's the video, guys. If you did enjoy, please give it a big thumbs up. If we can get a couple thousand likes, that'd be great. I am so happy to be uh, playing zombies again. For you guys who have been waiting for zombies, here you go. Uh, you're gonna have a lot more videos coming at you soon. As I said, I'm gonna be live streaming with my subscribers, so if you're not a subscriber yet, go ahead and click subscribe. It's free. It's quick. And other than that, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for all the support. We'll see you guys later on. Enjoy. Peace.